Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, this is question number six from the Solomon C Mechanics M1 um, paper, which is from like the Pearson's, the old Edexcel papers. This is also question three from my end of topic worksheet on dynamics from M1. And it's about basically um, connected particles and pulleys. It says, Corrine and her brother Dermot are lifted by their parents onto two ends of a rope which is slung over a large horizontal branch. When their parents let go of them, Dermot, whose mass is 54 kilograms, begins to descend with an acceleration of one meters per second squared. By modeling the children as a pair of particles connected by a light, inextensible string and the branch as a smooth pulley, show that Corrine's mass is 44 kilograms. Okay, so we got to imagine that it's this type of situation where you have a pulley and two particles on either end hanging from a, a string and you've got Corrine and you've got um, Dermot okay so let's just put in some forces here you got their masses with their weights okay you got the weight of each of them okay acting vertically downwards you have the tension in the strings because the string the tensions on both sides of the pulley is the same because it's one string and the, the the pulley is smooth you have let's call let's say this is a uh, corinne and this is uh, darren so um a dermot sorry corinne her mass is um, m we we have to find her mass okay show that her mass is 44 so let's call that mg for now um that's the force acting down and dermot his mass is 54 kilograms so we'll call that 54g okay so um Dermot starts to descend, so he's going down this way with an acceleration of one meters per second squared. That means Corrine is going to ascend with that same magnitude of acceleration because they're connected by an inextensible string. So he's, she is going to ascend at one meters per second squared. Okay, so now we have all the forces acting on the particles shown, so I can make a pair of equations. So let's start with um, Corrine. We can say she's going upwards, so for Corrine, I'll take up as positive, as she's moving upwards. The resultant force is T minus mg, because T is up and mg is down. And th that's equal to the mass times the acceleration, which is m times a. Now, m is, um, a is 1. Okay, a is 1. All right, that's all the information we have about Corrine. And for Dermot, he's going downwards. Okay, so his we can take down as positive. So 54g minus t is equal to his mass, which is 54, times his acceleration, which is 1. So there's two ways we can try to solve this problem. One of them is um, by finding what the tension is. I can find what the tension is. And once I've found what the tension is, I can find what m is. That's the way I would normally do it. However, you see part B says calculate the tension in the rope. It's like a separate question. So I'm sure if we, if we calculated the tension first and then use that to calculate the mass, that would still be fine. Okay, we would get the, these three marks that would be like combining to one, basically. Okay, but it's obviously that they've intended us to answer this in a, in a slightly different way. So I'm going to show you how to do it in um, you know, a way without you do, when you don't calculate the tension first. So we can call this equation one and we call this equation two. And if we add these two equations, the tension gets eliminated from our equations. If we add them together, we'll end up with the, the T disappearing. You'll have 54G minus MG, if you add these together, equals, and you have um, M plus 54. Okay, so now we want to find what M is, so we can see that's the only unknown. So I can bring the M's on one side and the everything else on the other side. So 54G minus 54. Um, is equal to m plus mg okay so uh, we can say that 54g oops 54g 54g minus 54 equals m times 1 plus g and I can divide 54g minus 54 by 1 plus g and that's going to give me m and we know G is 9.8, so I can say M is equal to 54 times 9.8 minus 54, 
over an 1 plus 9, 1 plus 9.8, which is 10.8. So m is going to be equal to, we'll have 54 times 9.8 minus 54 divided by 10.8 which gives us 44 as we have to find. So M is equal to 50, 44. So we can say that, okay, Corinne's mass, therefore Corinne's mass is 44 kilograms. And then we got to find the tension in the rope. So now we can use one of these two equations to find the tension. For example, if we take equation um, 2, we have 54 minus T, 54G minus T equals 54, so we know that um, we can find what T is from this, you know, we could say T is equal to 54G, okay, minus 54, that will be the tension of the rope, okay, we don't even have to find what the, the anything else is, we, we can find it straight away, we could, that's what I was going to do first. 54 times 9.8 minus 54, and that gives us 475.2. 475.2 uh, newtons, which you can write as 475 newtons, or you can write it as 480 newtons. Both of these will be acceptable in terms of um, your answer, 3SF or 2SF if you're using G. Okay, so as I said, I would have myself found what T was first, substituted T here, and then found what M was, rather than doing it this way. But because I saw question part B ask you f to find the tension of the rope separately, I've done it this way. And if you did it the other way, absolutely no problem. You can do it either way. It'll be fine. You could find the tension first and then find um, Corinne's mass, and that's like answering A and B in one go basically so there's absolutely no problem if you actually did that you would still get the marks but you can see from the way the question has been set up that they've intended you to use this method to find m okay and then find t but either way is perfectly fine all right so there's the answer to six part a and b now for part c it says find the force on the branch so it's like the force on the pulley so you've got the pulley and you've got the tension on this side and the tension on that side okay and we, we worked out the tension in its unrounded form was um, 475.2 newtons okay 475.2 newtons so the force on the branch is going to be equal to 2 times the tension which is 475.2 times 2 okay so multiply this by 2 and you get 950.4, 950.4 newtons. So you're going to round that. That's become, you're going to become 950 newtons to 2SF and 3SF as well. Okay, that's 950 newtons. That's the answer to part C. And then it says in part D, it says, in a more sophisticated model, the branch is assumed to be rough. Explain what effect this would have on the initial acceleration of the children. Well, if the branch is rough, that means there's going to be tension, there's going to be friction, there's going to be friction in the pulley. The branch is the pulley. Okay. Friction in the in the pulley between the rope and the pulley, basically. Therefore, the acceleration, okay, will be less. It will definitely be less. Okay, because um, there's tension, there's friction in the pulley. Okay. And one of the other things they didn't mention, um, we didn't mention uh, anything, any other effects of it. But sometimes when there's friction in the uh, when there's friction in the pulley, then the tension on both sides of the pulley will not be the same. We cannot assume it's the same. But um, they're only asking how it affect the acceleration. The initial acceleration, okay, will be less than it, as if it was smooth because it's gonna there's gonna be some, um, you know, there's gonna be some resistance to the initial motion. So acceleration will be less. That's one mark. That's fine. Okay, so there's the answer to part D. And I think that's the end of the question. Yeah, so not too no, not too difficult, really. It's just maybe picturing uh, making the diagram in the beginning. That might have been the problem. So um, other questions from this particular um, Solomon C paper, if I get to answer them. 
will be in the playlist over here. Other questions from the um, topic of dynamics can be found in this playlist. And other questions from this end of topic worksheet, um, this particular worksheet that from my M1 can be found in this um, playlist that should appear in this area. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.